Hi everybody. Hope you're getting out in nature, hugging a tree, listening to a bird, just planting your feet in the grass and getting connected to earth. So today I am bringing you a reading um, from the crystalline. So I pulled in two of my crystal decks and uh, some soothing crystals to enhance our reading and to get as much information as possible to lead us into our day. So let's get started and then whatever crystals come up in the cards, I will see if I have them in my collection and take a moment and pause and bring, the, bring those crystals into the reading as well. So right now I'm gonna start with the crystal deck we're going to do past, present, and future. We're going to uh, do the um, obstacle cards with the liquid crystal oracle deck. And then we'll have our outcome deck as well. So let's get started. Let's get started. So here we go. Past, present, future. We're going to go over here with an outcome. Okay. Now we're going to bring in the liquid crystal deck for our obstacles. And then we'll take a look at what we have. More shuffles here. And here we go. And what are the crystals wanting to tell us today regarding the obstacles that might be coming our way with our present, past, and future meeting? Okay, here we go. We've got this obstacle. Imperial Topaz. Rose quartz, you can tell already that we we're going to have some issues with love. Lepidolite, which is all about balance. And here's another one for the outcome. Hold the fight. And then let's go one more for our overall clarifier, which is the diamond which is interesting because I just looked at the bottom of the other deck and what do we have? We have the diamond card as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that, bring that over with the diamond since that seems to be the last card. Okay, so let's see what I got here. We've got selenite for our past. We do have some selenite. Apple for flight. I don't think I have that for our present. Unikite. I'm pretty sure I have Unikite in green. Okay. I'm going to take a few minutes to pause here and go see what I have in my collection and bring this in for our reading. Welcome back to the crystal reading today. I went ahead and pulled in any of the crystals that I had from the crystal cards and laid them on top of the card. Especially with the liquid crystal deck, um, a lot of the energy from the light is um, infused in these cards. These are very powerful cards. I really encourage you to um, look into this set. I like both my decks. I've had this deck for several years and then this one is fairly new. It's very um, very in-depth to the composition of the crystals, their placement here on earth, and how they came about to be, their age on earth. It's um, very very informative and so if I can remember some of the facts as we're going through it, I'll go ahead and um, and give you some like right now i know the the diamond is if not one of the 
uh, youngest, if not the youngest, uh, crystal gemstone on Earth, which I found very interesting. So, okay, so now that we have all our crystals in play here, we have our past, present, and future. Our past is selenite, which is an excellent crystal for clarity, uh, spiritual guidance, um, connection, manifestation. This card shows me that you've been really working on your um, spiritual goals and uh, connecting with spirit and really very clear and focused. A lot of times the past card comes up with a lot of confusion and um, problems that we've been dealing with. This is a very positive past card showing that you're really working on your uh, spiritual journey. So uh, with that being said, this clearing and clarity leads into the present, which is the Apophyllite. And this is also a very, very clear type of stone that actually works very well with selenite and is used a lot with selenite. This stone is very um, uh, pronounced in astral travel so um, and dreams. So what this tells me is that you're so completely clear and have your foundation for your spiritual walk and your, your manifesting of what you want of your dreams. Then you come to the present, which is taking it to a higher level of your dreams and going even further with the astral travel. But this type of clarity is a very positive sign for the present tense because this says that you're so clear now it's time to focus and to hone in on the actual um, release of anything that is not clear-cut crystal so it it kind of illuminates the the characteristics of things that have not done you well and you're e you can easily let it go because you're so clearly focused here so this is very very positive i'm i'm very impressed another this is also with the heart chakra heart chakra and the crown chakra and so then if we go into our future then we've got the unikite which is a strong heart chakra um, as well um, card. But this helps with our decisions and our expression of decisions through after we've released all that, now we are free to express our true self and make those decisions based on that because we've let go here and we've let go here in the present and in the immediate future. So um, this is a, a really good, um, very, very positive uh, past, present, and future reading. It, lots of clarity, lots of um, focus. So then what we, it almost looks like it's like a dream, like you're, you're making this dream into a reality and you just have like these couple little strings of things that just need to be released so you can have that full reality. So then we have the next three cards right here are our obstacles. So what is interesting about these obstacles is we have the Imperial Topaz, which basically is, Topaz is considered one of the most um, positive energy crystals that we have here on Earth. So it shows that there's a lot of confidence. Now remember, these are our obstacles. But what this shows me is that this, you're so confident in everything that normally 
confidence is, is the main um, issue why and our main roadblock to our success, but having this card with the topaz and the confidence makes me feel like you're already there. It's just kind of looking at it from a positive perspective rather than a negative perspective as far as a roadblock and maybe not letting too much confidence come through. So, but we can bring that into the rose quartz as well because the rose quartz is about forgiveness and love. And so maybe this whole package here of the obstacles is more about self-improvement, self-love, self-forgiveness, self-confidence, and honing in on those skills because these are in the obstacle department it makes me in compartment it, it makes me feel like that these categories are all right here it's not something that you need to search for the the love and the forgiveness and the confidence is right here we just have to make sure that these don't become the roadblocks for our outcome of our dreams and our clarity here. We have too much clarity and too much focus for these to be massive obstacles for the outcome, more so um, obstacles for our inner work. And when this inner work is laid to rest, then we can have the outcome for the clarity and uh, and the big dream that's about to come true, it looks like. So um, lots of heart chakra. We have a lot of heart chakra, solar plexus um, chakra energy going on here. So to me, it this isn't about so much healing which a lot of readings are about where you might need to heal. This is all about having complete clarity and focus on your goals and taking it to a next level. And when you take it to that next level, you're gonna have some self-inflicted obstacles that come to you that will need to be just subdued and in balance while you're getting through these obstacles. Which brings us to the third one, which is Lepidolite. I know I don't say that right, but I can't say Lepidolite. And that's all about your consciousness and your conscious feeling and getting in touch with these emotions and what it is that the ultimate goal and the ultimate dream that you have going on here in this clarity is now you're putting all of this into a confident manifestation, forgiving yourself in the heart and then bringing that into a conscious feeling so that it can now be expressed into your dreams and your outcome. So if you have the Moldavite, and I'm gonna show you this. Moldavite is very powerful, very powerful Moldavite, and it's um, basically a star child energy, and it's the only gemstone that came to Earth. It didn't come from Earth, it came to Earth. So um, I love Moldavite, it's a very, very powerful. So now, with Moldavite being in the outcome area, that is, that's big. It's um, a very, very promising future, a promising, very immediate future. And then if we, since we have the two diamond cards right underneath the Moldavite, to me, that is just showing all of the light body and illumination of this incredible outcome that's almost magical because of all the crystals, it's the one that came to earth. 
So I, um, I have this very, to me, this is like such a, a powerful outcome that with these kind of little tiny obstacles, I mean, really, these are not anything. I mean, usually you have just super powerful things that you're going to have to overcome before seeing this. This is more of about a self-check and just putting everything in the self-check mode. So we have with the diamond and the clarity and it's just, it's, it's just beautiful. I wanted to read something about the diamond. It is a symbol of the embrace of the pure spirit on the physical level, which is the goal of the human race on earth. Diamond is a unifying energy. It unites all that is in separation to a central point of light in the self anchoring love for self and others, which in turn fosters balance and loyalty. Linking the mind to the spirit, she sets creativity in motion, the imagination and inventiveness of a child return, and one can find a true vision or path in the world. So it's really a lot of it is about service and because this is on such a spiritual level, like with the selenite and the clarity and the spiritual guidance and then the moldavite with the diamond and the light body, it really shows like a, a very definitive path of some kind of service to do with on the spiritual, in the spiritual realm and on a spiritual level. So I hope that resonates with you. For the absolute ultimate final outcome and to bring it all draw it all together we have the atacomite which is a deep turquoise green which is part of the heart chakra as well this is all about enthusiasm and self-motivation so i find it kind of perfect that it's our final absolute final outcome and ties it all together because Really, that's all we're going to need for our final outcome is the motivation because this is a very positive reading that shows clarity, in, insight and clarity both in the past, present, and future with very few roadblocks that mostly have to do with just forgiving ourselves and keeping our ego in check and, and staying confident with our manifestations. And then our outcome is a beautiful dream come true with the Moldavite and bringing on a spiritual aspect to it. And the diamond times two <laughs> just shows the illumination of the whole light body of this reading. And I hope this has been helpful for you. And it's a very beautiful reading and very um, positive and full of lots of love and Lots of concentration on the heart chakra, so if you could just pay a little attention to your heart chakra right now, do some things that could possibly uh, calm it, put some rose quartz on your heart like I'm going to do right now, and, and we're going to go ahead and say peace out and have a good day. Thank you.